in this video, I'm going to talk about, well not talk about anything really, I'm just going to show a quick clip, um, just showing the kind of Christianity that is out today. I know that a lot of people think that Christianity is a joke at times, and um, at times when I look at what has been exposed, I can to a certain extent agree. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show a quick clip, um, well first I'm just going to give my explanation, and then I'm going to show a quick clip on... Um, the kind of thing that Christianity is, exp is exposed to. Right, now, I just want to say that if one is going to search uh, um, or just examine Christianity, I would say this. Because of the times that we're in, or because of the kind of exposure that Christianity is showing today, um, I would have to say that it's, to a certain extent you have to search for yourself and what Christianity is about. Because the majority of Christianity today is, is has a very false, um, what's the word? Is a very, yeah, I guess that's what the word. A, a very false view on what Christianity is about today. Now I've done, like I mentioned before, I've done some Bible studies on my other channel. So if you would like to know what Christianity is about, um, I could send you the link to that. But um, I'm going to show you what Christianity is not about. So. I guess I pray that as you watch this and you see what Christianity is not about, then that will give your mind um, an opening to say, okay, then if this is not what Christianity is about, what is Christianity about? So I'm going to show a quick clip showing you what it is not about. And I hope that um, you'll be able to examine more thoroughly what it's about. And like I mentioned, I have a Bible study page. So if you want to go on the Bible study page, I will be able to give you the link. Or you can just go on my page and the, the, um, the, channel, is, the channel is called Studying the Word of God. So right now I'm just going to show you the clip just to show you what Christianity is not about. Because I know there's a lot of negative view on what Christianity is. Or the view on, it's pretty much a very ugly view these days. So, um, just have a quick look at the clip, and you can even tell me what you think as well. If you thought of the same thing, then just let me know. Um, if not, then let me know either way. I'd like to still like to receive people's feedback. So, yep, I'm going to show you the clip right now, and may God bless us into his truth. Amen. Quite simple. See, Jesus said, by the fruits you will know them. And uh, just watch the person's fruit. If they uh, display a, a clean life, a Christian character, if they show true Christianity, then they're really for real. New from Pastor Brian Houston, money. There's not one person in this building who doesn't need more money. And if you say, well, I don't need more money, then I would say you have a very poor outlook on life. You'll learn why you need more money. Because money is a tool that can accomplish phenomenal things. What money can do in your hand is bless, it can help, it can build, it can increase, it can bring vision, it can strengthen. I'm tired of scribes, Pharisees, hypocrites blocking God's bridges when the harvest is perishing out there and God's calling the body to come together let him sort out all this doctrinal doo-doo. I don't care about it. When I read in the Bible where he says, I am, I just smile and say, yes, I am too. Is there a Jonathan that'll break the boundary, set up by soap, and put a spear up the butt of a Philistine? Do we have a Jonathan in the house? I'm going to sow this seed. I'm not worried about no financial return. But, but, but hook, this, hook this family problem up. If your engine is not revving up, you know what you need? You need a Holy Ghost enema right up your rear end. I don't need gold in heaven. I got to have it now. I mean, when I get to glory, all my bills will be paid. Brother, I won't have bills in glory. I won't need to worry about bills in glory. I can have it here. Lord just reminded me of the old hymn where he leads, I will follow. 
We don't have to pray for your will, Lord. The bottom line is, God gets pleasure watching you be you. Why? He made you. And that same Holy Spirit wants to send spiritual light to a darkened world today, but He's waiting for you and me to say, Oh, that spoken word is the key. Speak that thing. Decree that thing, and it shall come to pass. Whatever it is in your life that you're decreeing. But I believe God with you that as you sow tonight, you're going to sow this, and you're going to reap that. Give them a supernatural miracle tonight. You've got to say it. You've got to speak it. You've got to s decree it. You decree the thing. You pay your vow, and then he brings it to us. It's in the Word. I know this might sound a little sacrilegious to some of you, but really, in essence, you could call me a Holy Ghost bartender. But I want you to know tonight, the bar is open. I would literally see forms of angels appear in my bedroom, just watching me talking. Mm -hmm. And every time I would do it, they'd look so puzzled, like... And I saw them in different shapes, by the way. They're, I actually saw little ones, mm -hmm. about the size mm -hmm. of little boys. I saw. But last night, when, when Chastity um, sang, you know, come running to the mercy... <laughs> is potent. The Word of God is His sperm. You better hear this. And that's the reason why He said there was no revelation, widespread revelation. What He was saying, there was no widespread pregnancies taking place because most of the preaching was giving dead sperm and dead sperm can't impregnate nothing. Finally, I got it down that Jesus literally suffered the flames of hell for us, that we don't have to. Now come into a priestly anointing. Jesus is not the only begotten on. Son of God. He is not. I'm a Son of he's God. He's the first fruit. You, you're the, he's the first fruit. He's the first born of many. The job of the preacher is to bring fresh sperm. <laughs> I am a little dumb. Yes. Yes. I have the his name. I'm one with him. I'm in covenant relation. Yeah. I am a little God. Somebody's attacking me because of something I'm teaching. Let me tell you something, brother. You watch it. You know, I've looked for one verse in the Bible. I just can't seem to find it. One verse that said, if you don't like him, kill him. I really wish I could find it. <laughs> but don't mention people's names on your radio program and your TV program, thinking you're doing God's service. You're not. You stink, frankly. That's the way I think about it. And I want to say to all you scribes, Pharisees, heresy hunters, all of you that are going around picking little bits of, of doctrinal error out of everybody's eyes and dividing the body of Christ and arguing over splinters and doctrinal hairs and, and dissipating and wasting all of our time when the world's going to hell, I say get out of God's way. Quit blocking God's bridges or God's going to shoot you if I don't. I can't pray until you call in, call in, call in. Don't let me say it's too late. Don't let me say it's too late. Sometimes I wish God would give me a Holy Ghost machine gun. I'll blow your head off. In order to stop people from getting saved, you've got to stop people from prospering. And in order to stop people from prospering, then you've got to get them to violate 2 Chronicles chapter 20, where it says, trust in your prophets, so shall you prosper. Yeah. What it means to be a follower of Jesus Christ is to say, I give as much of myself as I understand mm -hmm. to as much of Jesus Christ as I understand at that moment. And yeah. then you keep growing it. Do you know that God never blesses sheep before he blesses shepherds? Shepherds get it first, then the sheep get it. Because sheep follow shepherds. If we, if, if we shepherds follow sheep, we're going to have poo on, on, on our shoes. <laughs> <laughs> So, so. Is that an Israeli word? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> so, so the sheep must follow the shepherds. <laughs> and God always blesses the shepherds first. So a pastor can never see his church prosper if he's poor. If you're Jewish or Muslim and you don't accept Christ at all, 
You know, I, I just, I'm very careful about saying who and would and wouldn't go to heaven. I don't know. I think only God. Because you believe you have to believe in Christ. I so believe they're, they're wrong, aren't they? Well, people? I don't know if I believe they're wrong. Jesus said, don't pray to me. Mm -hmm. I'll not go to the Father for you. You go to the Father because that curtain is open and my blood has a tone for you. Go on in. The water's fine. I have a plane and I make some people mad, but I need one. What do you want me to yeah. do? Ain't my fault. I don't know how to fly it. I just know how to buy it. <laughs> You ain't going back to a struggle. I said you're not going back to a struggle. You might have left a struggle, but you're not going back to a struggle. You're not going back. Make that pledge. Make it right now. Get on the phone. You're going in the sweatless victory. What should be our corresponding action? I'm glad you asked. We should forgive and extend grace to everybody else. No wonder Matthew says, and when you start praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive him so your Father in heaven may forgive your sins. For if you do not forgive, neither will your Father who's in heaven forgive your transgressions. As a Christian, you've got to forgive. Now that said, and please don't get offended, the new F word in the word church is forgive. I'm going to say it again. The new F word in this church is forgive. Now that said, do me a favor, touch your neighbor and say F you. God, I wish I had. God, I wish I had 25 people that say I forgive you for whatever you said about me. Not just your neighbor, look down your whole row saying F y'all too. Go ahead and tell them. You know what, y'all looking at me crazy. Would you do me a favor? Take your phone out, text all your exes, and say, I'm at church. F you. Forgive you for lying on me and talking about me. Pastor, my mama don't like you. Well, F your mama. My family don't like you. F your family, too. You know what? Jump on your feet. Step your fingers. Say, F everybody in here. God, I wish I had five people that would jump on your feet and high five six people say F you go ahead tell them F you go ahead high five somebody else say F you y'all F you y'all F you F all y'all F you God I wish I had somebody that would have a little church with me and thank God that he forgave you for all your sins and now you can forgive